we have two canisters and um, I just took them out of the freezer. They've been in the freezer um, sub-freezing for about five hours and we weighed them prior to uh, going in the freezer six and seven eighth ounces 196 grams same as after they're frozen so I mean I just uh, expected um, that it would be the same but just in case it was some type of uh, scientific reason for densening and and such or icing over of the canister in there I just wanted to weigh it again uh, I'm gonna go hook one up to the jet boil sole we're gonna hook up the other one to the reactor and go outside right now outside it's 50 degrees and we're going to um, boil two cups of water and see how we do for times and then we're going to be weighing these canisters in between boil times to see how many boils we can get from one cartridge and um, put the numbers on a graph so that you know um, after a, a trip or two of using the same canister you can throw it on a scale and just go over to your graph and know how much you got left in your tank or should have left in your tank okay okay these canisters have been in the freezer for five hours and they're registering as you can see uh, it's 41 about 41 degrees on the extern uh, on the external portion of the uh, cartridges I'm not certain if the gas is uh, actually colder and because this metal is uh, surrounded by ambient air that it's heated to 41 but it indeed was in a freezer um, that's set for zero degrees for five hours so we're gonna head outside and I apologize it's not that cold today but um, it's about 50 degrees outside yeah it's, it's pretty cold because I can't even get these things off here we go all right be back with you in one minute we're going to set up these canisters and head right outside all right we're up. going to start this timer and uh light up the stoves it's raining outside so this is pretty much a real world test here we go all right there we go with that one that was a pain in the ass and the jet boil All right, they're both cranked up, and we'll see how this goes. My initial thoughts are that the reactor is probably going to boil water quick, quicker because you're going to get less wind disturbance in this area. Um, it's not that windy out right now. It is raining. It's probably a light five mile an hour wind, um, and like I said, it's only 50 degrees. But the canisters uh, were in the freezer for five hours, so this has got uh, a wider base. Um, two cups of water only comes up to here. You got a much larger pot. This is a smaller pot. Um, we'll see how it goes. You can see the wind is affecting the jet boil sole a little bit. Clearly, the reactor is not going to have um, any issue with that because it's seated right on the element. But we'll see how it goes. We'll get back to you. Right now, we're at uh, a minute 24. As you can see, the flame is slightly affected by the wind. Like I said, maybe five to 10 mile an hour wind here. All right, the uh, reactor is boiling water at a rolling boil at two minutes. So two minutes even, we got a boil here. And right now, 2.15, all right. Well, there you go, two minutes and 15 seconds on the sole about two minutes even on the reactor um, pretty comparable I'm really impressed with the uh, jet boil sole uh, pretty compact unit and it competes with the reactor all day long um, so the reactor of course is is geared for two people um, there's plenty of room here it's built like a brick shit house pretty much and there's two cups of water in there and there's still plenty of room for quite a bit more um, probably maybe another another uh, four cups and the sole as you can see um, get about another inch and a half before you hit the top 
So there's the test, frozen cartridges. Um, for people that say that you can't use these in the cold, I think that you can. Um, they both have, uh, well, this has got a regulator, a regulator on it, which helps the, um, the fuel uh, come into the stove when it's um, colder weather. And the rea reactor just has a, um, a different design there. So you've got no wind coming in between the element and the uh, pot. I think they're both great choices for cold weather. And as you can see, those boil times are insane. Two minutes and two minutes and 15 seconds. Peace. All right, these canisters are cold. Um, okay, so after uh, we've got six and a half ounces, six and a half ounces after um, one uh, cycle of boiling two cups of water and six and five eighths six and five eighths. all right so the the figures are in um, I just took a quick look um, at the the weights and it looks like the reactor boiled two cups of water um, slightly quicker by about 15 seconds and used 10 grams of fuel whereas the jet oil was took 15 more seconds to boil two cups of water and used six grams of fuel that's slightly more than half so it would look like the sole is more efficient than the reactor when boiling two cups of water i'm not sure what that's i'm not i'm not sure if that's because the reactor part pot is so much larger than the sole pot but regardless of that um, it's more efficient boiling two cups of water and it was real world conditions We're outside raining it's not that cold out yet but the cartridges were frozen for five hours and not sure why they're they're registering 40 uh, degrees on the outside if that's a, a matter of the ambient air temperature affecting the metal um, when you test it for temperature but the cartridges are back in the freezer and they're going to stay there for 24 more hours. We'll do a second boil um, with each one. And we're going to be using the same cartridge for the um, respective stove. Um, and we will continue to do two cup boils until we exhaust the cartridge and tell you how many boils you will get uh, from that size cartridge with the reactor and with the sole. The other thing that you want to consider is that not all the canisters um, have the same amount of fuel or the same type of fuel. I was told and did a little research and found that, that the Gigapower, um, the Snow Peak cartridge was um, a little more efficient a mix and the canister actually holds um, a little bit more fuel and is cheaper. So I usually just purchase the Snow Peak cartridges and uh, I will get back to you when we have more information.